Hi, in this recording, we will show you how you can run extra flows before or after the document is uploaded. So uh, we have a flow and we're gonna actually uh, set up that flow to run uh, after the document is uploaded, but before other flows are actually run. So uh, these other flows can be seen here in the configuration. So I've selected these uh, PD, uh, collaboration butter components. And in the overview, you can see that there is a flow that would do an update. Uh, and then there is a flow that would actually update the columns in SharePoint. So updating columns in SharePoint is a callout. So that means that this flow will actually run in a separate transaction. For instance, you are uploading a document. You need to afterwards uh, update certain fields or uh, in the uh, in your related uh, records, and then you want that uh, updated fields reflecting in the SharePoint columns, uh, SharePoint metadata. That would not be possible to do that in one flow because this is a callout, and you cannot do an uh, update or an insert before you do a callout. So that's why we have split up these transactions between these flows, and now you can call a flow before the actual update of the columns before setting the content type. And of course, what we also added is an afterflow. So all in separate transactions, just to make sure that everything is nicely split up. Okay, let's test this. Uh, in this flow, you have an uh, input parameter called record ID. And also in the afterflow, you have an input parameter called record ID. So on this variable, make sure that the variable is available for input. Otherwise, we cannot set the record ID when calling this flow. In this flow is a very simple one. We're just gonna get our uh, opportunity um, via the get records, as you can see, with our record ID. And we're gonna uh, set an assignment here. So we're gonna uh, actually add a certain text uh, uh, to an existing field on the opportunity. And guess what? Afterwards, we're gonna update the opportunity with this uh, uh, updated assignments, so information. We do that uh, same thing for the uh, uh, for the after flow. So uh, after all the flows have run, and now let's see it in action. So um, let's see, uh, we have here in details a field called uh, current generators. That's the field we are gonna update. Um, and I'm gonna make it, I'm gonna make sure it's empty. Now, when I generate a document, it will first of all uh, upload this document to uh, to SharePoint. Then it will run the before flow, uh, this one. Then it will run the update columns flow. Then it will set the content type flow. And then it will run the after flow. So if I now refresh my page, it should say that it has done a before update and an after update. Let's take a look. Uh, okay, go here and indeed see we have a before update and an after update so those both steps are done this is also uh, fully functional with drag and drop means if you drag and drop a file on top of the uh, uh, collaboration butter component these flows will also run in that uh, in that order 